Can you be a professional speaker if you stutter? Absolutely. Simple, simple. Now, of course, that kind of splits into two questions, doesn't it? Can you be a professional speaker if you stutter, if you're stuttering while you're speaking? Can you be a professional speaker if you have a stutter but you control it on stage? I haven't seen anybody who had a stutter on stage that is a professional speaker. But I still think you could because it gets to the point where as long as you're conveying value, people really don't care how you speak. And I know that sounds really crazy. Having been in Toastmasters for 15 years and being a national trainer in Toastmasters, etc., I think I've got a, a reasonable amount of credibility to answer this question. Now, years ago, someone said, what is your goal in Toastmasters? When I joined Toastmasters, I just finished the Maguire program. And of course, with any therapy that they do, that you do, they encourage you to keep pushing out your comfort zones. Join Toastmasters because then you can put yourself up on stage. You can deliver speeches from your icebreaker through various types of speeches and push out your comfort zones, get feedback, get better, etc., etc., etc. Now, when I got asked after I'd been a Toastmaster for a few years, I don't know, maybe three or four, someone said, what's your goal in Toastmasters? And I said, to be a professional speaker. Now, I didn't really know what that meant. (laughs) I just thought it sounded pretty good. From that time, the fact that I had uttered it, then I started looking around. Well, what does that mean? Well, essentially, professional speaker means you get paid for speaking. Now, that speaking can take a variety of forms. Most people think motivational, inspirational speech, keynotes, etc., etc., but it can also mean that you basically are a trainer as well. It just means that you're using your voice predominantly and that's why you get paid. That's why you get remunerated. So for me, I realized that I wanted to become a kind of all-rounder type of speaker. So I put myself in every speaking situation that I could find. So inside Toastmasters, I took on every role that I could from leadership roles training roles, speaking roles in clubs, entering into contests, everything that you could think of in Toastmasters to small audiences, common audiences, as in the ones that I knew, uh, uh, but also audiences that were new to me. And then I found that I was starting to get speaking situations outside of Toastmasters, speaking about public speaking predominantly to... Uh, businesses, charities, etc., etc., and then I realised that you could run speechcraft courses, which are six to eight week courses. You could run those, facilitate those, and then you realise, hey, people are paying to be on a speechcraft course, and I'm running it. So therefore, they're paying for me to speak, although they weren't paying me personally. So that gave me the confidence. But you can see that I was working through a series of levels. I was working through ones. And now, if anybody asks me, what does it take to become a professional speaker? I'll say this one thing. You have to believe that you are worth paying for. That someone in their right mind would pay you money to speak. And that could be to just listen to you speak, deliver inspiration, motivation, information or encouragement to other people, uh, particularly if they're learning to overcome their own comfort zone and improve their own public speaking. So can you become a professional speaker if you stutter? Absolutely. And coming back to one of my earlier points about whether you are fluent or whether you are not fluent, whether it makes a difference? I think no. It really comes down to 
whether you believe you are worth paying for. Because if you do, it will come through in your voice. It will come through in your gestures. It will come through in your intonation. It will come through in your sincere and sincerity and authenticity. So if you want to be a professional speaker, if you think you've got some value to give, whether it be encouraging other people to do something, um, to learn something, or to push through those barriers, then away you go. Don't let anybody hold you back. And most of all, don't let you hold you back. Until next time, bye for now. I almost forgot. A few years ago, I think it was 2015, a person who started called, starters, called Muhammad Katani won the World Championship of Public Speaking at Toastmasters. So this is the highest level you can go in what they call the International Speech Contest. His speech was The Power of Words, and there's a link that I'm going to put in the description down below where you can watch it. And I think he's also got a book out. Muhammad Katani, I got to meet him in Wellington, didn't really get much of a chance to have a, a, a chat with him. But Muhammad Katani, um, he has a stutter. And he did everything he can. And remember also is that if you're one of those people who has a stutter and you've always hidden in the background and you've always avoided public speaking like the plague, like I did, you may be pleasantly surprised what your speech does when you get on a stage. Now, may not do it overnight, but for some people it does. Other people, you need a little bit of work to get out there and keep going up there and then everything starts to flow where you can fully express yourself. But if Muhammad Katani's done it and I've done it far lesser degree than Muhammad, then there's hope for everybody. You just got to get out there and have a go and don't let you hold you back.